Hey guys, it's Crystal aka Queen BRZ back with another video for you. So today I wanted to do something a little bit different and I'm heading out to downtown Los Angeles to visit the Peterson Auto Museum and I'm taking you along with me so stay tuned to see how it goes. just really a cool museum that features old cars, new cars, race cars, etc. And if you're into the car scene, um, I think this is definitely a place that everybody should go and visit at least once in your life. Um, if you're in Southern California, it's right here in downtown LA. So um, yeah, I'm really excited guys. You're tagging along with me today and I'll definitely keep you posted on everything that we see in there. If you can see it, but up ahead, it's the Hollywood sign. Whoop, whoop. We're here. We made it to the top and it's such a pretty view. I'm so excited. Alrighty guys, so, so far I'm just in here um, checking out all these super cool cars. It's really interesting to see a mix of the older cars. We have some new cars, race cars. We have some of like those little bikes and things over there, which is really cool. So basically any form of transportation is here. We have like our classic car room. That's so cool. So I'm waiting until uh, 10 15 we're gonna go ahead and take the vault tour which is um, a tour that you have to pay for and I'm not a lot of videotape in there but you best believe I'll be telling you all about it because I'm sure it has some really cool stuff but it's 10 12 so it's just about time so I'm gonna head over to our meeting spot and then I will let you guys know how it goes I just discovered that you can get in here and I'm so excited Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this is the coolest thing ever! Look at this! That is so awesome. Wow, this is so cool. I'm like really having a great time right now. I like how it says B for brake, R for reverse, C for clutch, so I can never get confused. So we came across old fashioned Batmobile. <laughs> that is so cute. What is this? Some more Batman. This is all so cool, guys. Check it out. The Great Gatsby. That's so cool. So, what do you think about me getting <laughs> these white wall wheels for my BRZ? 
Is that a yay or a nay? I swear, I am so obsessed with them and I think that I can really make them look good on the BRZ. Especially because it's a dark color, I can go for that like old fashioned classy look. What do you think guys? Am I crazy? I really think they could look cool if I like dress it up the right way. Let me know. <laughs> this is so cool. So I guess we're in like the movie section right now. But we just got finished with that 90 minute um, tour, which was so, so cool. There were like all these famous cars down there. We had cars dating uh, back from the 20s, early 20s. And then just going up in the years, we had your race car, McLarens, like all these original um, cars. There was um, a Porsche that is the only one of its kind. It was just so ridiculously insane. We had Saddam Hussein's car in there, like just so well-rounded. And I'm so sad we couldn't take pictures. Obviously it was for a reason because they are just being really exclusive about it and it's some really impressive stuff. But. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. There's just so many cars here. I think this is Back to the Future. I'm gonna show you guys right now. Everyone's crowding around it. All right, you guys, we have Back to the Future cars. These are so cool. Look. That is freaking insane. I wish I could go inside. And then we have... Magnum Stylish Stallion. <laughs> Super stylish, I love it. So awesome, look at this car over here. Guys, this is like my alter ego car. <laughs> I wonder if they like the color pink. I'm not sure. Oh my gosh. Check this out, guys. Purple nurples. <laughs> this is so awesome. It's just really cool to see all these different styles of cars. I'm really interested right now in the older style. I think when we were down in the vault, my favorite things, like my favorite cars were probably the older cars from like the 1920s. I'm just like so fascinated with them and they're so big and so classy, like performance wise, I don't know, uh, but they're so classy looking and I really like that. This is a 1929 Ruxton model Roadster. I really love that color. I don't know if you guys know, but I'm really into purple right now. Check this one out. Very pretty color. There was a car over here that I really wanted to look, but or look at. Some guy was checking it out, so I felt awkward going over there. All right, guys, check out this love bug. We're checking out the fitment right now. Fitment on fleek. That is so awesome, a whole roll, ca roll cage setup and everything. Check that out. <laughs> that is so cool. Here the window's open, so I'll take you inside. I lied guys, I think this one's my favorite car. It's so cute. Oh my gosh, how'd they get that picture of me? That's crazy. The paint on this 1936 Chevy is on fleek guys. Super sparkly, just like I like it. 
Look at all my homies in the back. Oh my god. All my friends was a low rider. So this is a 1932 Ford Ray Brown Roadster. And I'm really digging this color and those wheels. They're so nice. That single life, man. This guy doesn't have any room for anybody else but himself. You go for it. Okay guys, so if you are a Too Fast Too Furious uh, fan, you are gonna die. This is Suki's race car. And I am just so blown away. She has the veil side body kit here. We have a carbon fiber front lip. I love the color. Pink, purple, anything girly, I'm so obsessed with it. We have that fuzzy interior. I'll take you inside a little bit so you can see. And then you can see the Sparco uh, steering wheel. And of course the Nas buttons. So this car is supercharged, so you can see the gauges there. And then one cool thing that I noticed too is also the rear view mirror um, kind of connector is really cool. The fitment is on fleek, of course. That is just so cool and such an honor to see this in person. Guys, I'm like freaking out. <laughs> this is gonna be the thumbnail photo for sure. I want my car to be this cool so bad. Got a slant nose Porsche 911 over here, all decked out for racing, of course. Sound effects are real. <laughs> That's scary. It almost feels like the walls are gonna come down. Look at these wheels. And look where the seat is. That's crazy. This is so cool just to see the different generations of racing and I'm just blown away. I am like, who's gonna fit in that? I mean, I get people actually fit in that, but like you have to be 90 pounds. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely made for like the neck up. Oh, here we go, this picture right here. Yeah, so that's like literally only your head. That is crazy. How do you even get in? They literally have to bolt you in. Oh heck no, I'm claustrophobic just thinking about that one too. This Ferrari is so beautiful. 
And I love the wheel. I love how they touch, like they finish things off with those leather straps. That's so classy. Really, really like that. Alrighty guys, so the Peterson Museum is having this Porsche experience exhibit for a limited amount of time. So if you haven't been out yet, I do recommend that you come. I'm going to take you through so you can see um, a little bit of what we have here. I obviously don't want to spoil everything for you guys, but I already am really excited to take you through some of the really iconic Porsches. And they just, it's a whole room filled with them. So you're in for a really sweet treat. So this fourth, first Porsche here is really, really interesting because it's actually the first Porsche um, produced. And I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's called the Moon Coupe. I'll show it to you. So I don't speak German, but this is really cool because obviously this is where it all started. Um, this is where every other Porsche that we all know today was built on. Was built on. So it's just an honor really being able to see this Porsche and seeing where it all started in the Porsche world. Of course it's been kept in really amazing condition. I love the color. It's kind of like an off-white and it's just in perfect condition. I love how small it is. Those moon wheels are really cool. I learned what they were called today and I love that. So let's take you to see some more. So this next Porsche is a 1976 Porsche 911. And this one was actually the first one um, to be turbocharged. And again, really beautiful color and in awesome condition. But you'll see that this is more starting to gear towards like a race car. Um, this is having the really thick spoiler here in the back. These little prints here on the side. But this really sparked a whole new generation of Porsches and um, they were definitely successful um, as I was reading after um, coming out with this one. So let's go to the next one now. Alrighty guys, so now moving into the 80s, this is the um, 1988 Porsche 959S. And this car was the game changer for the 80s. This was um, twin turbocharged. It was the world's fastest and most technologically advanced car. Um, I heard they actually had to get permission from the government to even um, continue producing it. But you can see that this one specifically is geared towards racing. Um, it comes with a roll cage. And it also comes equipped with special seat belts uh, for racing as well. As you can see there and this car was just really the game changer for the car scene and it's really such an honor to be able to see this in person because I know it's very rare to have this opportunity so guys this is definitely something that you should consider seeing definitely capture a picture with it too when you come but it's just so beautiful and in impeccable condition. And you can see the spoiler is different from the last Porsche that we saw. But this is definitely made for speed. So guys, this is the prototype of the Porsche Courier GT. It's very beautiful, but as many of us know, um, this car is what took the life of our very beloved Paul Walker. So, I'm admiring this car, but also with a bit of heartbreak. Speaking of brakes, let's check those out. But it's so beautiful. So the engine, is that the engine in the back? That's so cool. I love this. Very beautiful, we have this carbon fiber uh, diffuser here at the bottom. Yeah, 
you can see that it has really wide tires too and that was um, also something I forgot to know um, in the last Porsche that we saw but um, the tires do come a lot wider than they had in the previous models so obviously geared towards racing. So this one here is a Porsche um, 911R and what year is this? This is 1967 and this is their purebred racing Porsche and this has won competitions. You can see they have the leather straps in the front. I love those and I actually think this has become my favorite one now. So this is based off of the older 1967 model. Um, and you can see it's obviously made to be very lightweight and definitely when those competitions we'll check out the interior a little bit so just adding to how lightweight it is you can see clearly just from the interior it's stripped from anything that does not need to be in there it is purely it has a roll cage in the back and it only has what's necessary, so yes. I really like the color scheme on this one too. Very vibrant, very fun. Alrighty guys, so as you've been able to see here at the Peterson Museum, there are so many cars to see and I have had a blast here. Um, I didn't get a chance to feature all of the cars that I wanted to, but um, I did just want to feature a little bit so that hopefully it motivates you to come out and want to see it for yourself. Overall, I am just blown away and I learned so much in this little trip that I took and I really hope that all of you guys find it in need to come out to LA and see it for yourselves. But of course, if you like this video, don't forget to like it down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And yeah guys, I'm wrapping it up. I think that's all I have for today. So until next time, Queen BRZ out. I fall in love too easily I fall in love too fast